Okay, so um, outside of City Hall, uh, the Business Improvement District election has now been uh, defeated uh, officially. Um, <clears throat> I could go through a longer history, uh, but I'll, I'll just try and focus on what happened today. The Business Improvement District will sunset and go out of existence as of October 10th. Um, the, um, th their problem was that they had uh, violated Florida Statute 170 and um, um, which says that when you, when you have a self-taxing district, then uh, the people who want to tax themselves have to vote by a majority of all of the effect, the taxed people to tax themselves, right? That's a Florida statute. It seems fair, right? If you want to have a special purpose taxing district, you know, you want to have more private police to make sure your homes don't get, but you want to have a security gate, uh, you want to have a business improvement district, then a majority of all the people who are going to be, have to vote to tax themselves. And they were excluding roughly half of the of the people who were being taxed from even voting or getting notice that there was an election. They would they would tax the business condos uh, without even giving them a, ch a notice of the vote or a, a chance to vote. Um, so it's an illegal election. Um, and um, strangely enough, uh, quite honestly, the developers, I'm quite certain, put the arm on the city commissioners to approve it anyways. Um, then uh, it came down to uh, were the votes that they did manage to, um, to to put together, which was 91 when they needed um, 88, if I'm doing my math correctly, uh, or 89, uh, it didn't stand up. You know how you have elections that are deficient, they don't have a notary signature, the wrong person signed it, this or that. Um, nine votes were determined by the city clerk to be invalid, which meant, no, 11 votes, which meant that they actually lost the election to keep, to stay in existence uh, by nine votes. So the, the city commission went ahead and said, okay, they're gone. It's over. The, the, the bid did not come up with enough votes and so therefore they, they have to go out of business uh, by law on October 10th.